Okay, so I wanted to cover um, references. This is just such a common issue. Uh, always, it, it just seems to catch everybody all the time. So I want to make sure that we are that I have something for this, and that is uh, how do you get how do you get things to talk to each other? Object A to object B. Right, and that's exactly how I'm going to write them here. We're going to have him at point 0.5, and we'll give him a tag. Any tag, I'm going to call him player, and we'll just leave him as is. But I'm going to, I'm going to give him a rigid body so that he has he can set a trigger. And I'm going to duplicate him. And this guy, he isn't going to be player. He's going to be oh, player start. And he's going to be a trigger. And he's I'm going to get rid of his rigid body. So now we have these two objects. So I want um, actually, for example, oh, let's duplicate him again. Right, let's go like this. So references. I want to build logic that if I move this cube and he hits one of these things, I want this particular cube to say jump in the air or something um, so that's what we're going to do so I am going to add a rigid body to all these again for the jumping portion set the chimatic it's not needed for the trigger in this case but I'm going to use it anyways I'm going to add an FSM to our little mock player here and what I'm going to use is trigger event now this is the th th this idea works on ray cast on collisions on triggers on finding on uh, all sorts of stuff and what it is we need to store whatever we're going to be interacting with on this action so we said these things have a tag called player start right so collide tag player start we're going to send event on do something but this is the important part what triggered this we're going to store it we need that reference right that's the that's really important very very important right because i can now prefab all these or prefab this thing logic isn't going to break now because i'm building a system that is capable of handling it so what triggered this and whatever triggered this we want to let's say set is chimatic and let's set or no use gravity so we're going to say use gravity on what triggered this we're going to set is chimatic on what triggered this to false so we're now going to be using gravity we want to add force I'm going to move that to the bottom so it's after i do the gravity on what triggered this so this is our reference and we're going to add I don't know, we'll say three velocity. And then I'm going to finish and just go back to my trigger weight. There we go. Now these things will pop up and then they're, they, they should just fall through the, the planet or the train because they just have a trigger. They don't have an actual collider. Right? So if I move, I hit it and it goes. I hit it and it goes same thing right it doesn't matter anything anywhere now because I'm using references I want this what triggered this I want that that's what we're dealing with all this is this reference right and it's like I said it's the same thing if you do collisions or ray casts or overlap get an overlap sphere right 
Let's do an overlap sphere, radius of 10 from ourselves. Let's build an array, hit objects, and let's just hit these things. Let's put these on a special layer, uh, player layer, sure. So let's hit just the player layer, right? Now, if I hit play, as you can see, we've gathered those objects. We got all those references right here except for number three apparently it's too far away so let's try that again let's just go boop. there we go now we have number three he was a little out of range we can see it by that now right so i mean if, if i want to use these now as references i could do that in an array but anyways th this part here will still work i can you know, I get those references. That was cube one, that was cube two, that was cube three, and cube four. And if those are prefabs, I can drag them in and life is good, right? So if, thi if this thing had an animator now, I mean, I could, I could easily make this uh, plain animation on that object, right? Set animator... You know bool or maybe maybe a trigger you know whatever the case may be on that reference on what triggered this you know what does it have right you know or you can change its color or you can do anything you want to that object because we have that reference right it's no different than if we use use owner use owner this logic itself doesn't understand anything but it wants to use a trigger using the reference of use the owner right this thing could use this object or whatever it's on we're on this guy right use owner or we could use this so there are references all right talk to you guys later